Hi there and welcome back to the channel. This is a, a quick impromptu video. Uh, I've just got this uh, BK467 uh, CRT restorer in. Uh, it was drop kicked through the um, uh, Royal Mail or Parcel Force or whatever cheap uh, courier was used. Um, the actual case for it is there and I've actually taken it out of the case. Um, the actual unit itself came with a number of uh, uh, adapters and the really important ones were 3 and 5 which are the Sony Trinitron ones. So you've got small Sony Trinitron and big Sony Trinitron uh, tube testers there. Uh, somebody's already adapted one of these so that they can actually uh, pretty much hook it up to any tester and somebody's written on that uh, which ones to uh, connect them up to and also there's a, a, a little sticker on there um, this is a, a 240 volt version of this uh, they were quite common in the in the states a 110 v uh, volt version um, yeah uh, it's a little tatty in places um, I've actually done a, a power on just a quick check and all of the um, meters are working just fine uh, I've got to calibrate them all as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, restore this and put it into a new box. This box is completely destroyed. The, um, the rear hinges are completely gone. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to remove that metal uh, plate on that. Um, and I'm going to put it into a nice uh, wooden box of some sort. Um, I've already started the process of uh, uh, replacing capacitors. I found three which were pretty leaky, uh, so I've replaced those. These are 220. Uh, ooh, ooh, there we go. <laughs> 220 microprofs uh, at 10 volts. Um, it actually does power up. Um, I haven't tested it. Uh, I want to actually go through the whole, all of the circuits, all the resistors. Um, online there seems to be um, a lot of talk about some of the resistors uh, popping on these so I will be looking at all those and checking those um, it's, it's out of this case I believe those are actually bulbs for um, load of some sort um, here we go it's an absolute mess of cables in there there is one um, vacuum tube in there uh, which I've got to pull out and uh, either check it uh, do a test on it and uh, either replace it or try it out and see what happens uh, it doesn't blow up when I turn it on um, it also comes with some weird uh, connectors for various sockets and somebody's actually cannibalized one of these for something I don't know what um, it also comes with uh, lots of uh, documentation. I'm going to uh, restaple this. This was supposed to be all together. Um, we've got a setup chart which has the uh, again the voltages and what adapter for each of the tubes. Um, I believe you can download uh, a load more uh, of these uh, settings. So I will do. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting little resurrection. Uh, I might, I probably will do a video of some sort on this um, and go through it. I want to also replace the cable on here, the power cable. It's pretty manky and horrible. What else? There's a little bit of corrosion. Where is it? Yeah, there's a little bit of corrosion here, um, which I, I can sort out. Um, this will go into a wooden case uh, with storage on the side and something for all of this as well. One of the very first uh, tubes I'm going to test is the Sony uh, KV1320 which is currently on my bench and causing me all sorts of problems. That's, that really is um, a bit of a nightmare. TV, uh, it's mainly going to be power supply problems here. I've already replaced a couple of caps on there. I think that diode there is bad. Um, uh, it 
power's up but no high voltage, no nothing. Uh, I've replaced the tube inside here with a new one. Uh, I haven't tested the tube, so again, hence the um, this and that socket here. Fits perfectly on it. So, stay tuned. Um, I will get this up and running, get it into a really nice box and get it all working nicely. Um, make sure all the uh, uh, filament bulbs for these are all working. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to test some of my TVs and see, see how they fare. You can also restore them, rejuvenate. You can clean and balance the um, uh, each of the electron guns, red, green and blue, rejuvenate. Um, it's a bit of a end of game thing if you do a rejuvenation. I do have a, what is it, the Sharp black and white portable. I want to actually try with this, with a rejuvenation, because I know the tube is tired. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice piece of kit. Uh, 1974 this is dated. Um, let's see whether I can, will it, let me do it, let me do it. Uh, so there we go. Right, uh, yeah, there we go. Right, copyright 1974 Dynascan. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's gonna. It's quite a, a vintage thing, it's as old as me. I was born in 74, so yeah, uh, so it's coming up to 50 years old. I think I'm going to have fun with this and try some of the copious amounts of CRTs I have in the loft. Right, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.